what's up guys thank you so much for tuning in so for today's video i will be showing you guys how i do my braids actually this is going to be my first time doing actual box braids this is going to be my first time doing box braids on my loose natural hair as you can see i already have three done um period they kind of like low-key look knotless but like you know not really no they don't look knotless at all <laughs> so i already parted all of the sections that i wanted i wanted them to be kind of bigger sections but not like too big i'm going off of a picture that i found on google so it's gonna like this except she has knotless box braids so and there's like lines going across the screen for some reason I don't know how to fix my camera. My camera's kind of broken. But they're gonna be like box braids with the, um, the beads at the end. And I went and bought some of these like charcoal color type of beads. They didn't have the clear ones or the brown ones in the big size. They had like those skinny beads. So I got some of these. Um, I wanted the brown ones. And I also got some of these. So we're just really gonna see how the end result of all of this looks. So right now I'm using the Janet Collection here. Um, I'll let you guys know when I switch it up, but I have like different different hair. Just know you're gonna need pre-stretched and pre-layered hair. The reason I'm using so many different types of hair because when I do my hair, I always have hair left over, and so is my sister. So I don't really need to get anything from the beauty supply store besides the beads. So, so as I was telling you guys earlier, I sectioned my hair into the parts that I wanted with rubber bands. I did use black rubber bands, and I'm not supposed to use the clear ones, but this is all we had in hand. I also did. This when I did the rubber band and used the Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel Extra Hold. This is really good for braids, I heard. So, I'm, like I said, I'm doing the rubber band method and then I'm doing the crochet method as well. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when I say that. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. And we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna sort of show you guys how you need to do the rubber bands because you don't want them too tight to the fact that you're not able to put the crochet hook and the extra added hair through. So it doesn't look a hot mess. You just want to do it like a couple times, not too many. So it's kind of loose right now, but like not really. So now we're going to take the hair and start braiding. I kind of feel like making a TikTok. Like, you know, how they do you braiding your hair and then the final results. Like, I may not make you. So let me see. So you want to take your crochet hook and bring it through like so. Can y'all hear all this commotion in my house right now? It's a lot of commotion. All right, so you see I just took the crochet hook, but you want to take it, keep it divided. You want to bring one of some of those divided ends forward. You want to make sure you can see which one that you're bringing in so you're not accidentally bringing them both in and I low key feel like I am bringing them both through the loop but I'm not because I had it flipped over <laughs> and now what you want to do is make sure you just kind of rake through it take this and add a little bit of hair it doesn't really matter from which side that you borrow from um, I want to do this one but like it kind of gives it like a a bigger effect that I don't really like, but it's okay, it's whatever. And you just connect it with the added hair that you just did, and then you're gonna start braiding as normal. Also, I forgot to add, as you're going throughout the braid, you wanna take some of your gel and just put it on your finger and just go through like this. It just moves out the hair a little bit more. Of course, um, if you want to go back in, once you get done with everything and just clip the flyaways, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that because some of my hair is kind of let, left out. I'm not a pro 
Um, and I just don't want to cut any of my hair. And I don't want to risk cutting any of my hair because I literally do not mind the flyaways. It's not that many. All right, I think I'm going to show you guys just one more time. I might do it another time, but I'm going to show you guys how I do this, the whole crochet thing. Like I said, I don't know, hopefully I'm in view, but you just want to put the crochet hook through like so. Gosh. And then you want to get set this hair, kind of twist it up a little bit, just so it's easy to grab. Either way, it's not gonna be super duper easy to put in there. You just close the hook, pull it through, boom, like that. And then you see the hair that you have. We just want to pull that to the side as well. Alright, now you want to take this hair and pull it through like so, like you just did there. And then take the hair, oh my gosh, that's so good. And then take this hair right here. You want to make sure it's even with each other. And then you want to add hair to, oh geez, add hair to the, your actual hair, like so. Let's see. You just want to start braiding like normal. keep going and I'm gonna demonstrate this one last time so I can just finish this up and be done with it do not want to do too much just want to do a little bit till I right here you see the language switch it's just so many different people this it should be enough this is not too thick um everything is not gonna be precise precise what you're gonna do is take the crochet hook through like so Close the clip, bring the hair through, put the hair that you're going to use on the side, and then make sure you have everything that you need. And then now you want to bring the hair through like that, and then take the hair that you have on the side like that. And now you want to add hair, well, share hair. And now we're just going to start braiding. Oh. All right, guys, so this is the end result of me doing my hair. Actually, I'm going to take it down. This is the end result of my hair. My camera's about to die, so I'm here to get this out. Um, as you can see, I do have the beads at the end. I didn't put, I didn't record it because I didn't put them in. My sister did. Okay, so I purposely didn't show the um back of my hair because it looked a hot mess. It looks a hot mess. It is a hot mess. I can't part, and I'm gonna learn how to part because that was not it. But we'll get better. We'll get better. And then go all the way here. So we looking good enough, period. But these are the braids, I really like them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below any video suggestions that you may have. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.